On March 17th, the Pope will make his long-awaited trip to Africa. It'll be his first time to the African continent as pontiff. His first stop is Cameroon, where he'll celebrate an open-air mass at a stadium in Yaoundé, the country's capital, and attend an African bishop's conference. Here, Benedict is expected to deliver the working document of the Synod of African Bishops set to take place in Rome in October. Africa's Christian community is one of the fastest growing ones in the world. In Cameroon, about a quarter of Cameroon's population is Catholic, some four million people. Cameroon's ambassador to the Holy See, Antoine Zanga, says the Pope's trip is both a pastoral and a diplomatic visit. He says the people of Cameroon hope the trip will be a message of peace to a divided part of the world. When the Holy Father comes to visit Africa and Cameroon, we expect him to announce a message of peace, a message of reconciliation, a message of hope. For this reason, the visit of the Holy Father in Cameroon in particular, and in Africa, is so important. While in Cameroon, the Pope has a special visit on his itinerary. He'll visit the sick at a local hospital. La visite aux malades. The visit to the sick is very important because the site he chose is an institute built and financed with funds from Canadian Cardinal Paul Emile Leger, an old Archbishop of Ottawa who retired in Cameroon to get in touch with the world of sufferance and handicap. The Pope also plans to meet with representatives of Cameroon's Muslim community before arriving in Angola, the second leg of his trip. There he will meet with the country's bishops and youth who recite the Angelus on Sunday the 22nd. His visit coincides with a very special time for Angola, the 500th anniversary of the country's evangelization.